Hi everyone. Once again, welcome back in my channel today. Hope you are doing good and well and enjoying your life with your loved ones. Today I am back again with a new video on the latest release. Family release has been done by service now. That is Washington DC release, which is still available only on the early access has been provided on the 1st of February. And now we are going to be discuss a little bit more on the Washington DC. So this video is going to be cover mainly two things. Seven lost and eight found means what will not be available. After or in Washington DC and what new has been added in the Washington DC. So before I start, let me uh, or as I say, let's start this with the instance here so I can take you on my service now instance. I am on the Washington DC, so let me do the stats. Dot do. And now you can see this is on the Washington DC. I am here now. Now before I start what we found, I want to be start what we are going to be lose very soon. After the Washington DC, the major depreciations I can say depreciated products are the features which service now bringing after Washington DC is number one that service now say as per the article, sorry as per the release note service now say that if you go here for the knowledge. This is knowledge V3 page home page. It is not going to be available after Washington DC. Service now started on the depreciating this particular part. OK, and what will be the new uh, thing coming on this place or what service now is promoting service now is going to promote or they're saying you need to be use the service. Sorry, knowledge base portal here. Now they are preferencing to use. They are recommending to use their customer to use this particular portal for this part. This is still available in the Washington DC, but it is going to be uh, or they are put this plan to be depreciate this particular home page from this particular stuff. Second service now is not going to be support Internet Explorer or Explorer mode after the Washington DC or I can say from Washington DC it's not supporting. It means and this is as per the KB article 0867184. They are saying that no longer after Washington DC they're no longer supporting Internet Explorer or Explorer mode on that particular part. Third depreciation we service now bring that if you go here and you can say clone. And you open the system clones or you open this clone request kind of things. This particular page is also going to be depreciated now means because as service now has been deduced as a clone dashboard that will be continue. But this particular page, this is called clone underscore instance page. They're going to be decommissioned or I can say dep decommission the right word, but depreciating. Uh, or I can say plan has been put for the depreciation. It will be done. Other than this, few depreciations are the supporting perspective like AI search is not supported on the Inter Explorer. Then service portal or the next experience also is not going to be support on the Internet Explorer 11. Sorry, it's I, I must say 11 Inter Explorer 11. They're not going to be support after the Washington DC release. OK, now these are the few depreciations which we are finding or which I found as per the research. Maybe you can follow the uh, release notes to get a little bit more deep knowledge on that particular part. Now let's come back to what we are going to be found here. So total eight new findings which I found here and first one is that if I come back here on the cloning part, let's say cloning dashboard earlier before we clone, we had to be set up the backup. Now service now has introduced this particular functionality even though I read somewhere I have discussion somewhere that people are saying this is already part of the previous leases as well. Few few things which are the part of the previous leases as well, but now service now make it as a bundle and put in the Washington DC is one which we have. They bring is that called the. Uh, backup on demand. This is what service now has been introducing backup on demand here, so you can see here that now you can request the backup on the demand before you're going to be clo uh, clone that particular. Uh, instance I can say let me show you here that it is gone backup on demand. Uh, yes, exclusion clean script. Let me come back on the home here. Even though in my previous video I already showed that 
how or what it will look like. Let me say request clone here. Yep. In the previous uh, previous video, I just showed that what is this, but now we're going to be see that what is this new functionality has been added by service now that is called the backup on demand here. It's a little time for me to be load. It's gone. Come on. Yep. So now if you see this has been added newly by the service now, so if you click OK, it's a apply on demand backup that you can now request the backup before you go for the cloning part. This is first thing which service now has been introduced. Second finding which service now say that let me come back on the service portal here. And now it is a flexibility for the users. They can save their records in the as a draft as well. So like say if I'm going here, I can see save as a draft option has been given here. So this is available here as well. This is available on the ECS portal as well, and you can go back in the request items and you can find out that particular part on that particular stuff easily on uh, easily in that instance. That is the second one. Third one, which I I receive a comment on my previous video that Atul, how the delegate admin work. So I did little R and D on that particular part. So what we have to do? Let me go back here. I'll come to the studio. This is what the studio and I created few applications here. What ultimately service now say they extend the scope of this delegation mainly. So this is my application. Let me say I can search for the LNG. This one is LNG partial. OK, and it is be loading for me. I want it should be load quickly. Oops. OK, let me open it again. Settings. Yeah, yeah. So what I did, I may I mainly bring this as a button here. It is a related list. Or it is a related list, but to just to show you that how it's working. I did little changes at my side to do this part. Number one is saying is thing is saying that a user must have an application admin rights. Means on the on the specific role, this particular checkbox must be true. It will work. So if you click on the manage developer here, and you can see that. I want to be at let's say I want to be at Abraham Lincoln. So now this has been added by service now in the Washington DC on this particular part. So mainly this particular option is is extending the scope of the admin on the scoped application as well. So the way you're getting the application the same way you have to be created here. The only thing is that when you go to the settings, then if you want to give a role to uh, Abraham Lincoln delegated admin, then you can take this box instead of doing all this individual. So like if I close this, I can still the yes, no, but if I click on this, it means I'm giving this user all the all the all the rules in a one way. And if you can see here like this, everything has been tick box here. This is the third finding which has been done by service now. Now the fourth finding which is little little interesting has been added by service now is called on the workspace part. So let me come back here. I come here service operation workspace. Here are the two major changes service now has bring number one now a user can create the universal request as well from the workspace service now workspace uh, in the Washington DC, which is not earlier available, but now they have introduced here. So it means you can go here. Definitely the rules and required things are still there, but the only functionality is that service now added the universal request as a module in this part. So you can see here, maybe you need to be activate some plugin or you need to be update the service operation plugin at your side and then you can see this universal request option is available there means now total ITSM has been moved from the native view to the service operation and you can do like this. No other functionality has been changes as as of now, but only this major functionality which has been added here is this part. Another option we service now bring is called now service now bring on call schedule as well in the workspace. I tried something not get 100% success on that part, but what I understand from re reading the release notes is that let's say I have this incident. Now if I need assistance here, so like expert on the call or I need the agent assist and I can see here. This is what and if I click on this expert on this call expert on call. Uh, let me go collaborate. It is gone. Sorry. OK, hello. OK, search for all group. So now this is what service now bring. Let's say I want to be search for the service desk. I'm still learning on this part, so you can see that as of now, these two guys are available on the shift 
uh, on this particular part. So it means earlier this functionality was not aware. This is what I understand as of now. I might little bit wrong, but if you think that I'm wrong, please put your comments in the comment section. To do this part, uh, we need to be activate a plugin. This is what I understand, but this particular option is available on the release notes very clearly that this has been introduced by service now. So major two changes has been done on the service operation perspective. Number one is a universal request has been added here. And number two service now has introduced this on call scheduling on this particular part. Now another thing which service or you can see a shift details. You can open it and you can see that who are the shift on this particular part. So this option service now has been added here and then you can click on the contact and you can reach out to that particular agent on that particular part. This is what very quick service now bring it here now. The next part again is a very basic part that now if a user need to be work on the incident task, so service now introduce a new rule. So let me say service now introduce a new rule that is called the incident SN underscore incident and this one incident task assigned user. This is a new role has been introduced by service now in the Washington DC, which is required to access the incident task if incident task is assigned to that particular user. It means the way we have on the problem record something similar has been added by service now in the Washington DC on the incident record as well. So this has been done. Now I would like to be come back on the catalog policies here. So now if I come back here, or I can say UI policies. Let me come here UI policy. And let's say I want to be do this UI policy. Very interesting uh, part is already given or uh, shown by a lot of people in that stuff. So let me say I want to be go to the global scope. It is quick and easy for me then. OK, so I'm here. So what they have done, they service now bring the set value as well in the UI policies now to be doing that particular part. So now if I say UI policy, let me click on the new. Or let me go back here and configure and form layout. This is what service now deduce latestly and they're putting a little bit more emphasis that we should use the form builder instead of using this form layouts part. Maybe service now has some plan to decommission it, but not as of now. So this is what service now has added called the. And uh, it is gone. I need to be see again once again. Value or what I'm I'm in doing wrong field. Yep, this is what field. OK, field message and field message type. This is what service now has been added. Let me come back here. OK, it is already added. So let's say to you, I can say visible read only to. OK, let me do like this. Back out plan. Why it's not working for me, even though I have those options. OK, this one, sorry. My bad. So now you can set the value like field message. Hello, and you can say you want to show as an info, you want to show as a warning, or you want to show as an error. This is what service now introduced in the Washington DC that you can set the field message. Instead of putting these things in the client scripts, now we can do, or, or I can say instead of putting this in the coding, now I can do this part very easily in the set message. Field message you can put, and you can say info, warning, and error. Maybe some syntax semantics are there like double quotes to be put it that part. You can do that particular thing. So this is what the another finding with service now bring here. And now the last one which we have is called on the HRSD. So what service now bring? Let me go to the case here and I'll open the service now HR cases. Let's say I'm bringing it here case. And now if I want to now. Now what service now introduce that now we can create a task in the case to schedule a meeting as well. This is what service now has is a new drop down value in that particular part. So let me go back here. It is gone to create a task. This is what add task here. And now you can see here. This is what service now added a schedule a meeting on this particular option here. So this is what service now has done the eight find or this is what service now has been done 
one more thing which i try to be find out in hr that you can if you are transferring the case from one domain to other domain in the in the hr as well then you have to put the case reason which is was which was not earlier available but has been introduced by service now in the washington dc release so let me quickly recap it for your for your reference is number 1 backup on demand is the one save as draft delegate admin universal request on the uh, service of patient on call roster or i can say schedule i can say on the on the this part so so w or the this thing service operation workspace then incident task has bring a new role that part then catalog policy or the ui policies bring this c field messages or the set field messages are there then new hr cases as a new sorry hr cases as a new drop down value for the task type called the schedule meeting on this particular part hope you like this this video if you like please Uh, uh show you show your uh, show your um, i can say learning on this part by putting the comments if you think that i am wrong somewhere please don't hesitate to be correct me i am also learning i am also doing my work on that particular part i'll come back again with some more topics some more new findings some more releases on the washington dc till the time take care and bye bye everyone thank you